Hi, I'm Mike with B2 Lighting Effects. I get a lot of questions about PAR 38 bulbs. These are the standard bulbs that you use on dance floors, nightclubs, DJ work, any type of entertainment where you need a nice bright light shining on a band or your dance floor, that type of stuff. The questions that I get, does the PAR 38 150 watt bulb compare to the LED PAR 38 bulb? A lot of differences between the two. Some of the questions I get, is the brightness the same between the two bulbs? Are they both dimmable? We all know that the regular PAR 38 is dimmable. Question is, is the LED bulb dimmable? Can you put an LED bulb into a chaser unit? Can you use the LED bulb inside or outside? A lot of questions, and I'm going to answer every single one of them for you right now. The first question I want to tackle is, can you put the LED PAR 38 bulb into one of those chaser units like this one? This is the Chauvet 2-4 channel chaser and this is made to chase up to four different lights in sequence or go two on, two off. Anyway, we're not, we're not going over this. We're going over this. So the question is, can you put it into a chaser unit? Let's turn on the chaser and the question is answered. Yes, you can. There's no delay on the LED bulb, so it will flash with any type of uh, bulb chaser unit. Question number two, can you use the LED PAR38 bulb inside as well as outside? The answer to that is yes. The regular PAR38 bulb, interestingly enough, I would not recommend putting this one outside. This gets very, very hot. This one does not. And if you have the regular PAR38 bulb outside and it gets cold, the bulb gets hot, you get some raindrops on it, this will, well, this, I'm not going to say it will shatter, but there's a very, very good chance that this particular, the regular bulb will shatter. The LED bulb won't for several reasons. It's a much, much thicker glass. It's made for inside and outside use, and there's never any heat. It'll get slightly warm, and that's about it. And then another question I get, are the LED bulbs dimmable like you can dim the regular PAR38 bulb? Big answer on this one, no, you cannot dim the LED bulb. So if you have a situation where you have to have dimming capabilities, you're going to have to stick with the regular PAR38 150 watt bulb. Regretful, but that's just something they don't have on this one. You can get some LED PAR38 bulbs that are dimmable, but the price is over $100 each. Wait a couple years, the price will come down slowly but surely. The LED bulbs that I have come in four different colors. Red, blue, green, and yellow. And there's also white available, but I don't carry it because the price is so high price. It's upwards of $80, $85 for just one bulb. Where with this bulb here, you can get this for about $45. As far as brightness again, there is a big variance on this and I'll explain this to you. What I did is I set up a little thing in my showroom, used a lux meter, that's to show you brightness of a bulb, and then I measured it out to be two feet long. I had the little sensor thing to pick up the brightness, two feet from the actual bulb, and I tested each one. Not real scientific, but I kept the distance right at 24 inches to try to get the best numbers I could as far as brightness was concerned. And here's what I came up with. I made up a little graph, and you'll see on this, the red, as far as LED is concerned, that's the one on the left, came up with 380 lux. They call it lux. I'm not even sure what lux means, but it means brightness. The one next to it, that's the standard one, came up to 480 lux, meaning the regular PAR38 bulb with a red gel is a little bit brighter than the LED PAR38 bulb. The next one over is the blue. Now, this is where LED, this particular bulb anyway, really wins out. Came out to 1,910 lux. That is bright. The regular PAR38 bulb, 150 watt with a blue gel, only came up with 335 lux. I redid that a couple times thinking there's no way the regular bulb can be that low. I did this over and over again, and yes, it's only 335 lux compared to the 1,910 lux that the LED bulb had. The one next to it, same thing, the green bulb. The LED green came up to 1,928 lux at two feet, and the standard PAR38, 150 watt with a green gel, only came out with 270 lux. Next one over, the LED bulb, really dies out. The yellow, which is actually an amber color, LED bulb, came out the absolute lowest at 200 lux at two feet away. 
the standard par 38 bulb with a yellow gel on it came out a winner with 1,900 lux. So, the two top colors to go with is blue and the green LED par 38 bulb with the 165 LEDs in it. So let's put all of this into perspective for you. First of all, here's my list of everything I've covered. Are, is the LED bulb dimmable? No. If you have to dim the bulb, forget it. Don't buy it. Can you use the LED bulb inside or outside? Yes. Can you use the regular one inside or outside? No. And it gets hot. I just burnt myself. Oh, that was my next one. Does the LED bulb get hot? Here, my hand is right on it. No, it does not get hot. Does the regular one get hot? If you've ever used these, you already know. I've got a burn on my finger just by touching this. That gets really hot. Woo! Yeah, don't use, you, don't use this one outside. You can use the LED outside. What else do we have? Longevity. This is going to last you 10 times longer than this hot thing over here. Uh, let's see. Chase. Yes, you can put the LED unit into something like the Chauvet 2.4 Channel Chaser. Works great with any type of chaser unit. Doesn't have to be this, but I'm just giving you a little plug. Next up, what do we got? Dimmable. No, you can't dim. In, out. Chase. Longevity. Hot, warm. We found that out. Brightness. Again, if you want to use the blue or the green, the brightness is much brighter. The, the red is about equal with the regular Part 38 with the red gel, so I wouldn't really worry about that brightness. They're about equivalent. The yellow, forget it. The I'm knocking everything down here. The yellow is just way too poor on the LED bulb, but you can see it. I mean, it's not like it's not on. If it's a dark room and you need some yellow hue, like a real faint yellow, it's fine. But the big winners, blue and green for the LED bulb. Tremendous bulb. So, I would say everything in perspective, you take this bulb here, this is the regular bulb, take the hammer, and we are just going, you really didn't think I was going to do that, did you?